So I'm wondering, why are you getting into him? Well, I heard they're strong, and they're pretty like I pretty much like uh, his uh, kit, you know, his abilities and everything. Okay, I'll show you how to pilot fiddlesticks, but here's what you need to understand. If is you, is your goal to rank up in the game, or what's your goal? Are you playing casually, like? Yeah, I play casually. Okay, you play casually. Okay. So if you play casually, it's fine. Okay. So we'll go over his basic mechanics and his advanced mechanics. They're pretty easy to understand, but people don't know about them until they see them. Okay. You want me to share screen or no? You're, you you can't do it. I have to do it for you. Okay. You have to watch me how to do it. So I have problems with ganking with fiddlesticks. That, that's that's not something with fiddlesticks. That's just you not being a good champion. Send in okay. the cloud. Do, does that make sense to you? Maybe. So in League I mean, of Legends, when you want to play well, the first thing that it takes is Champion Mastery, okay? Champion Mastery comes mm -hmm. before anything else. So what does Champion Mastery mean isn't the, like, Mastery 7, that's not what I mean. I don't care about that. What I mean is that you Sunrise truly, no that you truly, uh, know how to pilot your champion. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Because before that happens, you will not be able to play it optimally, as well as you should be able to. Okay. So if you had right. told me that you're focused on for focusing on rank, I, I would have told you that what you're doing is not going to help you. But if you're playing casually, it's fine, so it doesn't matter. Um, okay. So I'm going to start by turning off the minions. Okay. I'm going to go over each so... ability, and then... Uh... Are you seeing the screen fine? Yeah. Is, do you see. see my mouse? No. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna reshare it, and then you should see my mouse. What about now? Do you see my mouse? Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So sorry if I'm interrupting you. Do, can fiddlesticks carry? Like, if your whole team is like feeding, can you carry? Yeah. Fiddle? Okay. Yeah. So, so now, now here's the thing. You, you won't carry easily without knowing what you're doing. So don't expect it to happen after five or six games. It won't happen. Okay. You'll, yeah, you 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 might get very lucky, but it won't be something you can do consistently. That that's what I mean by champion mastery. Um. Uh, okay. for, uh, I had a guy who played three games of Kaiser. First two games he went twenty and five, twenty and six. Right. So really good. But then third game, he Whoa. went like 6, 9, 5, right? Not that good. Um, but but the thing is, he's not able to get that 20 and 6 consistently, right? It was just, he got super lucky twice in a row. It's like extremely lucky. Okay, anyway, let, let's start with his passive. Uh, some things you will already know, but there's a lot of things you don't know about Phil. So I'm just gonna like say everything that I know and, and hopefully you'll get it. So, his passive is the most important thing you have uh, before 6. The reason is that you need to use this to be checking for invades and stuff like that. So literally, level 1, when you spawn, what, what, what is a good thing to do is to immediately come here and put a ward here. Or immediately come here and put a ward here or here, okay? Uh, okay. Or, or anywhere you prefer, really. Just make sure that you put it down at level 1. Um, yeah, I, I usually put it in river. Like, right there. Here's what you need to remember yeah. about the river bush, is that if people check it, okay, the FAG is gone. Mm -hmm. So now you're not getting uh, vision anymore. So, so, that, so of course, that might be something you don't mind, but if it does matter to you that you want to keep the FAG up, yeah. then here it's safer, because they're less likely to check it. 
unless they're fully invading. Right. If they're fully invading, they'll probably see this. Uh, as for here, even if they're invading, they don't usually go down here. They usually go up here. So you can put the effigy into here. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, now here's what you need to remember is that this bush. Okay. Uh, let me turn on this. Okay. This, this bush cannot see anybody here. Look, there's somebody here right now. Mm -hmm. See this? So, technically, they should be able to uh, just, like, see what I mean? Hello? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I see it. Okay, okay. So, yeah, they can, like, walk into here even if you ward this bush. So, not gonna matter much right now, but it's something to keep in mind. Anyway... You want to make sure so, you're using as passive as much as you can early game to to keep up anti invade, uh, especially against Olaf, uh, Kane, um, Warwick champions like those who who do that a lot. Okay. <clears throat> so usually I just put uh, the word like next to the river. What do you mean? Yeah, next right there. there. Right like, there. Like in the river. No, next, like behind, behind there. Here. Where the, where the, uh, what is it called? Go to the right a little. Yeah, right there. Yeah, exactly. You where here. you are. Yeah. Yeah, you like, can do no, that. Like, no, a little. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. Did, did you hear me talking about it? About yeah. It okay, okay. Um, now, now, so the passive is the most important thing to use before six. But the second most important thing to make sure you're doing correctly is your clear. You need to finish by 315. Okay? Three, okay. 315, by the way, is the uh, minimum. It's the absolute minimum. Oh. Yep. You, okay. So, so basically, it's technically possible to get it all the way down to 305. So, 305 is the best, best clear. But 315 is a good average clear. That if you really want to do so, it fast, you have to do it by 315. Yeah, what? Yeah, so how do I uh, like do the both? Like the blue and the frog? The grump? Uh, it's it's very simple, I'll show you. And, th and then afterwards I'll send you a video and then you can try to copy him. Yeah. Okay. So this is what I do. Okay. You, you just started. Wait, my smite didn't come off. <clears throat> okay. So level one when you're starting, if you're not getting a leash, you start with the. I think it messed up. Hold on. Okay. The the clear the clear time like do you see like it's resetting it didn't reset fully. There we go. Okay okay. So when you're not getting a leash, you start W and the, and then you smite him. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then keep going. And then. Something like that. Okay. I, I missed by one auto. Okay. Mm, my smite is not coming. Whatever. So yeah, I, I, I did it I did it too much by one auto. Let me see if the smite comes up now. No, it's not giving me smite. It's okay. So anyway, I'll show you again when my smite comes back, but first let's go over the abilities. Oh. What? Wait, hold on. What's up? Sorry? Yeah, you can continue now. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, so your W, it's, it's such a great ability because it has multiple uses. So, like, imagine a Kali. This is a Kali, and she goes into Shroud, okay? If you go if you go near her, you can still W her in her shroud. 
Okay. Oh. She will get revealed. So that means her teammates can also attack her. Okay. okay. It's the exact same thing with Shaco Q. Ex uh, exact same thing with Rengar Ulti. Any invisibility. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Um, and it also works on invulnerability. Do you know what that is? No. Invulnerability is like uh fizz uh the jump the jump on fizz. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It, but here's a trick for fizz: you have to start your W before he starts his jump. Okay. Okay. Can you can you think of somebody else with invulnerability who like who like you cannot hit technically? One other champion in mid lane. No, no, nothing comes to mind. Vladimir. Yeah, his uh, his E, I believe, the W. His W, his pool when he goes into the ground. You again, mm -hmm. you have to start your W before he starts it. Okay. Okay, can you think of two junglers who have that? Yeah. No. Yi? Master Yi? When he uses Q? Have you seen that? Actually, yeah. He, he just teleports into you and... Yep. You can still yeah. hit him with W, but you have to start it before he uses Q. You can still hit but doesn't him. doesn't he cancel your W if he hits you? No, you're not listening. You're not listening. You have to start your W first, and then it will keep hitting him. It doesn't matter if he's invisible. It's gonna keep hitting him. Yeah, but I know, I know. If you start before, right? Yes, yes. And then he hits you. Doesn't that cancel your no, W? No, no. Your W keeps going. This is because your W. It's called a th a a a a, a, a sorry a tether. Okay, it's a mechanic okay. in the game. Karma has a tether ability. Do you do you know Karma when she stuns? How it looks? What? what? Sorry. Do you know who is Karma? Oh yeah, I know. Who's okay, when she's yeah, stunning she, somebody, she how does it look? Me. Sorry. Do you not hear me? What's going on? I mean. My my headphones died, so I'm on speakers now. Okay. Can you plug in your headphones? No, oh, they're dead. Yeah, but can you plug them in and then use them? Like plug them in to charge. Let me check. Nah, they don't work. But I can still hear you, though. I don't, I don't know about that, man. You, you kept asking everything. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. So, so when Karma uses her stun, it's like a line, okay? That's called... Yeah, that's uh, also a thing. Sorry. Sorry for interrupting, but your microphone is... Uh... How is it? How is it now? Yeah, it's better. It's better, yeah. Okay. So you was you were talking about karma. Okay, so so anyway, karma has a tether. Uh, fiddle W is a tether. I believe Morgana ulti is a tether. Okay, there are a couple of ways to have a t tether in the game. A tether is basically like, as long as they're in the range of you, it won't get cancelled. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but but for like Master Yi, you have to start your W before he starts Q, and I'll show you why. Okay. I want you to pay attention to my W right now. See how it's not highlighted? But now it is. Do you see that? Hello? Hello? Say no matter about it. Hello? Yeah. What happened? Uh, my internet. Oh, it's okay. Alright, so did you hear what I said or no? 
sometimes. Okay, I'll say it again. So, see how my W is not highlighted right now? Yeah. There's no color yet. But now look what happens when I go near the scuttle. See, it, it turns on. Okay? Yeah. So now what this means is you can literally, like, use this to detect enemies in bushes. I have no vision right now. Okay? I have no vision. But then if I get close, see that? Hello? Yeah, yeah. I can see it. I, I need you to respond so that I know you can hear me. Because, like, when I'm showing you something, tell me that you're understanding, okay? Yeah, I figured. Well, I, I can see it now. Okay, good. When you're in range, you're double okay. Exactly, exactly. So if you want to check the bush, you can do this, stuff like that, okay? Um, wait, so, yeah. wait, that's actually pretty nice. Yeah. It, it, you don't have to start your W, but if you want to, you can. You don't have to start it. But yeah, it's basically like, imagine that you want to go for his raptors, and then you walk here, and then, like, you can check the bush with W. Okay? I mean, that can be useful for invades, right? Your W. Yes. Yes, but it's more like... Uh, the thing is, when you get in W range, you're close enough that if they're, like... Somebody who is really strong, they can kill you. Do you understand? Hello? I think there's something wrong with your voice detection because I'm not hearing you. If you're talking, I don't hear you. God damn it. Hey, welcome back. Sorry. Uh, no worries. Okay. Uh, do you want me to reduce the stream quality? Will that help? No, it's fine. It's just, it, it disconnects sometimes. You know, that's the problem. Alright, does that happen a lot in game? No. Oh, okay. Uh, it it just happens randomly. Oh, uh, okay, that sucks. Okay, okay. Um, okay, well, another jungler that I really like abusing W against, K. You know when he ults? Yeah, he, he becomes invulnerable. Exactly. If you start to W beforehand, it's gonna happen. And here's the thing. Kanes usually will ult when they're low. Against Fiddlesticks, that's a mistake. Because if you start your W while he's low, and then he ults you, He'll die while inside you. It's pretty funny. He'll, he'll always die inside you if he's low enough. Okay, I see. Um, there's other champions that if you think about it, you can be like, oh, the W is good against them. Uh, I can't think of any right now. But yeah, okay, okay. So that's the W, very important tool. Uh, and then let me show you another situation, okay? So imagine you got invaded, okay? So here's what you need to understand. The more targets there are, the more you heal. Okay? So, so right now, like, imagine that this is the same champion, okay? This one and this one are the same, okay? If I just mm -hmm. fight this guy, okay, one-on-one, -on -one, I have a more chance of losing compared to fighting him here. Why? Because of the crubs. Because now I'm yeah. sucking them off, okay? Okay. okay. But you, you take a lot more damage then. Do I though? You take more damage because Krugs hit you. Well, first of all, there is a chance they could hit him too. Okay, and and second of all, you have more healing. You have way more healing. It's gonna it, the damage is not gonna matter compared to your healing. That's the, fair. Mm. And and what you can also do is you can smite the big one to make it lower so that they become smaller and then there are more pieces. Uh. Okay. Now, now, for uh, also the last thing you should know about W is that the lower they are, the more damage it does. Okay. 
Oh, okay, okay. That's, an, that's why when Kane is low... Uh, uh, but, okay, the, the more damage part only comes at the end, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah, I mean, when, when uh, your W ends, it, it gives, uh, like, a little smirk thing. Yeah, so at the end, it will do the most damage. Um, it, it, it does the missing HP damage at the very end, okay? And it doesn't do it while you're channeling, it's only at the end. Oh. Like, like, uh, like right now, this is normal damage. At the end is the maximum damage. And then the lower he is, we'll see how much damage I do. So now I did 315, you saw that? Before I did 205. Okay, okay. Okay? Uh, this will apply to champions and, and, uh, uh, camps. Okay. Uh, I think that's about it for W. Oh yeah, one thing that you should make sure about. If you start for W, don't cancel it. Because now it won't go on cooldown reduction. Do you see that? Okay, yeah, yeah. So if you let it finish first, it finishes faster. If you don't let it finish, and then you cancel. Uh, it will just... What other running. abilities can I start? What? Like, what, with what other abilities can I start? Wait. You you will seriously hurt your camp clear if you don't start with W. If you can, you can. If you want to, you can start with Q. Like maybe you wanna cheese level one and then Q him, or like be here level one and Q. But then now clearing this will be dick. Okay. It's okay. gonna it's gonna it's gonna be really painful. But if you're like playing support or something, then you could like start E or Q. You don't have to start W. But for jungle, you need to like 99% you have to start W. I've never, I've never not started W because when you start Q, it's gonna be so difficult to farm. Uh, level one. Okay. Now for his other abilities, pretty simple. Um, let me see what do I want. What what rooms do you usually go with? We'll talk about later. That's not really important right now. Right now, right. let's let's focus on what I said. Champion mastery, because you okay. need to understand. Like you didn't even know that your W is missing HP damage. You know, like yeah. that's very important. Yeah, that's true. So so that's why I'm focusing on this. Uh, okay. Now your E is very simple. If you hit it on the edge, okay. Uh, forget that he got fear. Uh, if you hit it on the edge, not much is gonna happen, okay? Um, but it basically slows them, and the center of it is, is where you wanna hit most of the time, if they're channeling something or something like that, because the center of it will silence, okay? Do you see that okay. circle? Mm -hmm. The circle is where the silence happens, okay? The edge yeah, will just... Yeah, most of the time. Yeah, the edge will just hit them and slow them, but the center is the best part. So, like, against Nunu, when she, when he's ulting, or, um, I don't know, against... Maybe you don't want somebody to flash, or something, uh, you know, stuff like that, because it will silence them, and so it can oh, be so that, that's a, that's, um, that's good for chasing, too. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and now the the best part of uh, like one of his most important uh, abilities when he gets ulti is his Q. The reason it's his Q is because the Q has a passive, you know. So right now I have Q, and then look what happens if I W. See, he gets fear. Yeah, he fears because of his passive on Q. Yep. Yep. So so well, it's very simple. You just have to stand still if you want to do it like this, and then they'll get fear. Yeah, we're out of combat. Uh, no, 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 no. It's it's not, it's not or. Um, um, because here's what you need to realize. Right now, if I W him, I'm out of combat right now. I'm not fighting, but if I W him, he won't get fear. <laughs> Do you see that? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So you have to. Like, not be in vision. Right now, I'm not in vision. Because in, when you're in this passive, you look like an FEG. Okay? So now, he will get you. 
Oh, oh I see. Yeah, yeah. That, you, that's very important to realize. Okay. Uh, or, or you know, maybe... The, uh, uh, let me go to get some pink wards. Or maybe it could be this situation. Okay, like, out of vision. Now, again, your W or E will fear. Okay? I, I could oh, be moving so when he doesn't see you, okay. Yeah, see. yeah. This is... With, with Fiddle, you want to be extremely... It's extremely important that you understand vision. With Fiddle, okay. you need to understand vision. Okay? So, so now, now here's a cool trick. Imagine that there's two of them. Okay? You can either use W or your E. Okay, let's try the W. Okay. It only hit one, unfortunately. Do you know what the circle is? Uh, his, uh, his Q, I guess, Q passive, maybe. Uh, do you know what it means? It is about his Q passive, but do you know, like, the mechanic around it? If not, that's okay. The, the amount of time that you can uh, fear him again. That's correct, that's correct. And there's a second part of it too, okay? So I'm gonna fear them both real quick. So, see, my E hit them both. Even though the center of it only hit this guy, it doesn't matter. As long as the damage goes to both, it's fine. So now here's what's important to um, realize. Is that your Q will do more damage if they've already been feared. Okay? Okay. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to... I'm gonna. Um... So there's a combo like E and Q then. There are many combos actually. Yeah, that's one of them. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna fear this guy and then Q him and then we'll see the damage. Okay, total damage was 216. Okay? okay. But now but now let's try it again with this guy. 158. Okay. Right now it's really low because my Q is level one. But the more you upgrade it, the more damage will do. Technically um, when you, when they're already feared, your Q will do double damage. So, think about it like that. Okay. <clears throat> uh, what else? Oh yeah, um, so, again, you can be out of vision. Uh, so, like, remember the trick I taught you where you look at your W? Let's, let's kill this guy to make it easier. <laughs> Okay. So, so like the trick I taught you, okay? See how my W is lit up, right? So uh -huh. right now, if he doesn't have vision of me, they get feared. Yeah. Okay. And while they're feared, you can. Mm -hmm. okay. And now that's also how his ulti works, right? So if you want to ult these guys, they get feared. Oh, oh, okay. That that's a lot of damage. Uh, don't... Uh, yes, he does a lot of damage, but these are level 1 dummies. So don't, don't, okay. don't take it to... Don't expect it exactly to happen, but it can. It can for sure. Uh, and, and, I'll, and I'll show you another part, okay? So, you see this guy, yeah? So now I'm actually not gonna ult on him, and I'm gonna show you what happens, okay? I'm just gonna ult here. Uh, what happened? Oh, okay, I, I, I hit this guy by mistake. Okay, okay, I'm gonna ult right here, and then you're gonna see something that happens, okay? You see that? What? Why? They have no vision of me. Your fear will go off when you do damage from your abilities. Okay. It, 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 it can also happen... Uh, can I just... Okay, I'm gonna kill this guy real quick. Okay, okay. So now if I do it here again... See, he gets feared. Okay. And then, and then, like, of course it's gonna work with E as well. But notice he doesn't get feared because of the passive thing. Uh, that's, that's actually quite useful if I'm getting chased. And then this also. So now technically... So that's a good point you bring up. Like, imagine that... There's, like, you're running down here, okay? And there's a guy following you this way, okay? If you go yeah. out of vision for a moment, you can fear him and run away. 
And you don't have to use your W, you can use your E. Or of course you can just use your Q, but your E is the longest range. Here. Okay. So E is my go-to ability. No. For not being at chased. All. Not at all. Not at all. Or being chased. No. I mean. No. Absolutely not. Most of the times when you're being chased, they see you. And if they see you, they don't get feared. See? Yeah. Yeah, but if I go like behind that wall, should I E? If you're in this very specific situation, sure, you can E, but what you have to remember is, do you have vision of them? Because sometimes it can be very hard to hit your E if you don't have vision, right? Right. Right now I have vision, so I can do it very easily. This is like the perfect situation for E. But a lot of times, what you all you have to do is just cue them and run away. That's That's usually the best. Uh, like, like, uh, it doesn't fail. And now here's the problem with E as well. If you, um, if you don't have vision of them, also, is like, when you press E, you stand still. Like, see? Yeah, yeah. This can actually give them a moment to, like, Leona for, to E you, for example. Um, Q does make you stand still, but it's much shorter. So that's nice. Now with W... I want you to notice something, okay? Because because this can trick you. I want you to look down here. Okay, do you see my mouse? Yeah. Okay. That's up here, up here. Do you see this? Do you see that? The what? bar. The loading bar. It's, yeah? It's shorter. Okay, it's shorter because I'm canceling it. But I want you to notice that like when I press W, it starts, it fills up. Do you see that? It fills up. Wait, why? Because your W has a starting animation. That's the starting animation. It takes like, I don't know, like maybe 0.2 seconds to start, maybe 0.1, I don't know. But it fills up first, okay? So, the importance of that is, like, if I press W right now and cancel it immediately, he won't get hurt. Oh, I didn't cancel it. Okay, I'm not canceling it fast enough. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> whatever. But my point is that, like, you do want to make sure you're hitting him. Uh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, I have an idea. Okay, I'm gonna try to W and cancel it. Okay, never mind. It doesn't want to cancel out. It's okay. Anyway, now why is this important, the loading animation? I'll show you. The more important reason. Uh, we need a pink first. Okay. I'm gonna put the pink here. Okay. And now let's imagine... What the? I can only put one? What? Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about the war uh there's a support item that lets you place more than one. I was thinking Yeah, about three. That. I don't think it's three. Uh, I don't think you can put down three. I think you can have three in your inventory. Uh anyway. Either either three or two. Well yeah. what whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, anyway. So now as we saw with your ultimate that you can fear these guys if you just ult them, right? You can also E if you wanted to. Uh, you can you can also flash Q, you know, like this. And there's many ways to fear them, okay? But now, how do we get this guy? This guy is really far, right? So I might think that I can't ult them. By the way, if you if you if you have the right setting, whenever you want, you can look at your range, right? Like I have the yeah. option to either look at the range or to just hit. Yeah, I have it too. Uh, okay, okay. So anyway, when you're looking at your alt range, it, it it will only go up to the line of the first circle. Okay, so like... Oh. Yeah, this is the range of my ult now. Okay, let's just try it and let's see what happens. So he doesn't get feared, right? Yeah. Okay. So now, uh, I'm actually gonna do this real quick. Okay, I'm gonna put him even farther away. Let's try that. Okay, so my ult won't hit him, but now here's a way to do it. This is advanced. Do you see that? What? 
What? Did you see he got feared? But, but why? He oh. has vision of you. I'll show you again. And then you try to tell me what you think is happening. Oh, I messed up that time. W, Alt, then W. What? Holy flash. Okay. okay. It's quite sketchy, actually. Uh, like, like, what do you mean by sketchy? Like, because, how, how does he get feared? Because, like, you has vision of you, right? Yes. Like, the the enemies, where, where does he get feared then? If you do it correctly, it will happen 100% of the time. The the one time he did, didn't get feared, I, I messed up. He should have got a fear, but I messed up. Anyway, I'll show you uh, what, what is happening. It's very simple. Um, so all I'm doing is I'm ulting. Okay, so imagine I ult now. W and flash. So remember when I was talking to you about the, it, the loading animation? The loading bar? Yeah. So in that time that it's starting, oh, the, I'm okay. flashing. You, you cannot... And then it cancels. And then it cancels your W. It doesn't cancel, no. What? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll show you uh, in, in, in another way, okay? So right now, am I close enough to this? Okay, I'm close enough to this guy, okay? If I W, he gets feared, okay? Now I'm gonna try I... to fear this guy, okay? My E might actually reach him. Okay, that's good. But will my E reach this guy? No, right? I have to go out and push for it to hit, okay? So now here's what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna W, flash. Not flash W. Crap, okay, it's not even close. <laughs> okay. Okay, that so, time it wants to be close, whatever. But but you see what I'm doing, right? I'm double using oh, W. Well, so it doesn't cancel when you flash. No, it doesn't. It, okay. That okay, wait, no, 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 no. Don't wait. Something something that I didn't explain. If you W and then flash, it does cancel. Oh. If you're late. So you have to flash. When it's starting, the, look down here again. When this is yeah. becoming full, when it goes from left to right, in that time, you have to flash. See, it's like very quick, no? Okay, that's gonna help me when you're chasing. Uh, yeah, that could help you, but, but that's not what it's mainly for. It's mainly for uh, getting a bigger fear. So, again... W flash, and then yeah. And now, and now, look what happens if I flash W. Okay, this guy won't get feared. See that? Okay. So you have to start your W first, and then you can do that. Okay. Um. When you double your first, you. Yep. Yep. So now, so now let's apply see. that to the ultimate. Okay. So with my yeah. ultimate, I'm ulting over W flash. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does now. Okay, good. Now, now let's. Now that was the harder one. So sorry for starting with the harder, harder one. Let's start with something easier now. Imagine I want to get this guy. Very simple. See that? See that? Uh huh. Alt E. Very simple. It's much easier. So I should have shown you this first. My bad. Alt E. Yeah. And the third way to get a fear, uh, which your ultimate. Okay, this one is like not not that good to, to depend on. If you do want to make sure they get feared but they're not in range, either use your Q. Uh, sorry, either use your Q, your E, or your flash W. Okay, but this one is like it doesn't work that much because it's like hard to know. Uh, okay, so like you can I will alt this way and then Okay, don't work that time. Hold on Okay, that no that shouldn't be what's happening. Hold on 
So basically what I'm trying to show you is like... No, no, no. Okay. Now it should work. Whatever. Okay. So okay. Here, here, here's my point. I'll just show you my point, and then maybe you can do it on your own. Right now, it's like, like I said, it's really hard to do this because it's like not dependable. Anyway, the point is, when you alt, your W is longer range. Oh. Okay. So, so technically, like you can alt near somebody, and then just out of range, you can also uh, hit them with W. So, like, if I put it to here, no, wait, let's put it to here, and then, and then now, technically, I should be able to hit this guy with W. See, see what I mean? Like, he's just out of range. He's just out of range. So, anyway, if you do hit them with the W, they'll get feared. Okay. That's what I was trying to show. It's very complicated. I probably shouldn't show this anymore to anybody. It's not, it's not useful. No, no, it's not complicated. It's, I actually figured it I out. I mean, it's not useful to know, though. It's, like, it's, what's the point now? If it's not useful I to know... I mean, do... it, it kind of is. I didn't know it extends the range, like... Uh, the W doesn't get extended. It's just, like, normally bigger than your alt range. Uh, like, the range of your alt damage. It's bigger. So when you, so when you alt, your W doesn't get a bigger range. No, your W always has that range. Oh, oh I thought I'm... Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking... Okay, so now with your ultimate, there there are many um, uses. One, one thing interesting, though, that I want to mention, you know when Lux cues you? Yeah? You know what? Do you know when, like, Lux cues you? Q yes. when he's when she's oh, yeah 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 it's her it's her stun right yeah okay so her stun it's called a root okay uh -huh. roots yeah. don't cancel your ultimate so what's gonna happen oh. is she's gonna stun you okay but you can still alt at her oh okay so so like it will be like this. Now I can't move if I get cued by her. And then after it goes away, I can move. But but it's something weird, because like, you can still go to other places with your ultimate, even if you get stunned. Anyway, let's talk about um, how to ult properly, okay? There are many ways. There are many angles. So one of the best, best places for mid... So like, imagine that this is the enemy, okay? All you have to do is walk up to the fireplace, and then you can ult over, okay? Very simple. But now again, don't oh. forget, even if they're here, we're not worried, okay? Just E. See? Your E okay. makes your ultimate much, much longer. You need to realize that. B because, like, you can fear them. But don't forget that you still have to walk up to them. So if they're, like, high HP, it might not be worth doing. Um, anyway... So when you're ulting, what you want to make sure is, imagine that there's only one guy, okay? And you want to kill him 100%, okay? Here's how to do the most damage, okay? Alt, Q, E, W. Okay? So it's Alt, Q, E, W. That's the most damage. Alright, I usually just go E and Q. You need to apply the this order for most damage because your fear does damage the more HP they have. Okay. So if they're if they're at a very low HP, it will do less damage. If they're at a very high HP, it will do a lot of damage. Okay. And then you want to hit with E second. Because now your W will do more damage the lower they are. So the Q and W are kind of like opposites in terms of damage. Everything making sense? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, but that's, anyway, that's like 
if you want to kill him 100 percent but like if there's like oh. what well in that exact order is faster than alt uh e q and w right yes you need to do q first after all time yes okay but now but now here's here's the thing is that like sometimes you need to save your q or 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 the times like like where you if you feel like they won't be stunned for that long like when you're fear is like very short okay and they're kind of like on the edge I'll, what you can do is just alt w don't bother with q and e so you can do that that's an option uh it, it just comes down to experience with fiddlesticks and what you feel will will be ne needed to kill them sometimes q and e is like too much you know q and e is not needed to use just alt w is fine Sometimes you do need to use it. You know, it depends on on what you're alting and who is helping you uh, to kill. Anyway. All right. Uh, now I'll give you a scenario. Okay. This is ADC and this is like support or something. Okay. So so now oh no let's change it to make it like this. Okay. So now this is support. This is ADC. Okay. This guy will be harder to kill because he's much farther away, but it's okay. So what I'll do is I'll alt here, E this guy, and then kill this guy. Okay. Why do I E him? So he gets feared and he can't hit you. He can't heal his teammate or like CC me. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And your E silences him. Exactly, exactly. But now imagine I want to kill this guy, okay? Like, this is ADC now, and this you, is support. Okay? You alt, yeah. then W flash. Correct. Correct, correct. So now, of course, like, okay, like, later in the game, you'll have Proto Belt and you'll have Boots. So maybe you could, for example, just, like, alt and E and then follow, like this. You could do that. What? What? <laughs> do it again, do it again. No, it's very simple. Yes. I didn't do anything fancy. I just alted E. Just like before. E. Proto belt. E. And then All right, okay. To get into range. You could do that. I, I use it for different purposes. Okay. What do you mean? What do you use it for? Like getting closer to the enemy. Well, yeah, that's what I did but, too. I used it to yeah, get Yeah, but I, I usually used it first. That sucks. What do you mean? Use the first. So usually. Like like you would be yeah. like doing this and then ulting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, you you, you want to be ulting from out of vision. Alt from out of vision. Uh, yeah, that yeah. that's that's because I I know now, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like before, I didn't even know I got you. most of the things. Yep. So so remember when I asked you why do you want coaching on fiddle? Do you even play him? And you're like, I do play him. But now here's yeah. here's what from my from I'm not I'm not trying to insult you, you don't play fiddle. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, you've tried out, but you haven't really played him yet. You know, to really play him, you have to understand how he works correctly. <laughs> and now now that you have this knowledge, okay, now now's the time for you to actually practice it. Okay, you will not carry shit without under without playing him correctly. I remember when you asked me, can he carry? Yes, he can. But can you carry? That's a different question. Yeah. It, it comes down to not only your understanding of fiddlesticks, but how to be a good jungler. So don't expect to one v nine. If that if if you want this champion to do that, it, he won't. If you want a one v one v nine, play bullshit like E or something. <laughs> um, yeah. No. No. I mean, no. I I don't like E at all. Well, it's, it doesn't it's... have to be. But but I meant what I'm trying to say is. He won't be a free W if you don't know how to play him. His win rate, it's it's high. Have you seen it? Fiddle's win rate, like, it's pretty high. No, it's it's really good. Okay, it's like fifty three percent or something. Fifty three. Okay, that's that's way better than Rise. <laughs> I think Rise is like fifty now. Anyway, yes, his, his win rate is high, but why? 
Because it's mainly people who know how to play him who are playing. Wasn't it like forty five? Come on. Uh, I I don't know anymore. I don't I don't keep too much. Like Rise about this. was Rise was like bullshit. He was forty five yeah. at one point. Yeah. Okay. Um. So now, imagine like there's a group, right? So now what can happen? Like imagine that there are suddenly four mid. What are, what are, what are you gonna do? They're most likely gonna come to hit the tower, right? So you can sit in here, wait for them to come here, okay? And then you all go. Yeah, but you didn't hit the other guy. That's true. That's true. But what? But to me, it's not important for me to hit this guy. Why do you think? Well, I don't know. So your W, it has a certain amount of time that it needs to be hitting them, right? But the thing is, I didn't want to give the other ones a chance to get away because I want to hit this guy, okay? Like, okay, I could do it. So, so all I could do is like, okay, this time he got you. <laughs> it's the angle. It's a very, very like, like before when I ulted, I ulted like this maybe. So maybe he didn't get hit, but now when I ult from here, you know, it's very, very, very tight. Anyway. The main point okay. is that I just got a triple kill. I don't care too much about the fourth kill because now it's a 2v5. What, what's he going to do, you know? But if you really, really do want to get them all, okay, here's what you can do. You can ult, throw about, and now you're right in the center. Okay, that, that's a lot better. Mm -hmm. Here's a mistake that players new to Fiddle will alt often do, okay? So, they want to ult this guy. They'll ult him, and then they'll walk a bit, and then they'll W. Okay? Oh. This always happens. I've seen it. I, I used to do it a lot a lot of times. It's it's a mistake, because while they're feared, you want to be using your other combo instead of walking. You only really want to walk if you know for a reason why you're walking. Like, maybe they're super low, so you know you'll just walk so that you can keep walking away. I don't know, but if you really want to kill them, avoid walking as soon as possible. So, uh, alt, proud about W, you know, very simple. Okay. Yeah. Now. Oh, uh, another question, like yeah. early, early game, yeah. like pre six, like before, yeah, yeah. before six. Can you do something? Can I what? I think in one v one, can you do something? Uh, remember when I said you want to keep your, keep warding everywhere, uh, like, yeah. whenever you can? That's exactly because you don't want to fight. Oh, okay. The, so, the, like, shackle. It's, it's exactly because you don't want to fight. If you, okay, like, imagine that, like, like, you're doing this, this right now, okay? And then, like, Graves comes, Shaco comes, you have to leave. Oh. It's theirs now. It's theirs. Don't cry at your top or mid for not coming. It's your fault if you die. You're, it's your fault, number one, because you if you didn't ward or you didn't pay attention to your ward and then you are surprised they're here, it's your fault. And then if you die because you stayed here trying to fight, it's again your fault. Because you have to be the one who has to pay attention to the map and you have to be the one who leaves. And if you have flash and you don't use it, it's again your fault. You know, do you, do you, do you get it? Mm -hmm. It's very important to to not blame your teammates uh, because it can be very easy to do that with fiddle. Because with fiddle, you're helpless before six, but it doesn't. But your teammates won't know that. Your teammates either don't care or don't know. They have to focus on their own ship. Um. Okay. Now, now I want to show you some some good ways to alt. Okay. So, like, uh, let, imagine you want to ult here. Two ways you can do it. You can stand here and then just ult over. Okay. Other way is you can stand... Oh, what? What? Huh? What? What happened? You just ult here. Oh, okay. Very simple. Yeah. And then here, you can ult this way. Okay. I got to so, yeah, like, what? imagine, imagine, like, the ADC and support are in the middle, right? Uh, like the enemy ADC is here, or even yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, and it's very simple. the support it's just is. Like this. Okay. Notice how it went into the bush first, by the way. Sorry. 
Are you noticing how I went into the bush first? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Because I want to make sure you understand being out of vision is very important. Okay? Uh, or then, I, I like to do this gank. This is a pretty cool gank. Uh, like, imagine it's like this. So then, alt over, E. You know, it's very good. Uh, and then you can also gank from here. Uh, see? Yeah, but you know, why you didn't have he get feared? Feared. Huh? Why didn't he get feared? You have an enemy behind you. Exactly, he sees one. <laughs> I was just making sure you're paying attention. Okay. So I usually have pretty much problems, right, right with ganking on bot. Uh, yeah, you need to use this, um, these techniques that I'm showing you to be able to do that. I'm gonna show you a clip I uh, of one of my replays later. Um, shift down. Okay. All right, so um. And then you also the dragon, you can also uh, do it. Imagine that they're hitting the dragon right now. So you can either come here or you can come here. It's harder from here. It's easier from here. And then just very simply, you know, s s same thing with Baron. It's a very fun way to get a penta. Like imagine that there's five of them here, you know. Okay, and then like you're here, and then you just alt over. Easiest penta of your life. Well, right now it's a quadra. Uh, okay, and then, and now the same thing as bot lane. You can alt over here. Okay, like imagine that he's hitting the tower, or imagine that he's here. Uh, oh, yeah. hold on, I, I just I just noticed something like when you were in the background, you started with E. Yeah. Instead of your Q, yeah. because like in in more crowd control, you use your E, right? The, instead of your Q. So so using my E was actually a mistake because I'll show you. So first of all, it's unlikely for them to be perfectly in a line for your E. It's very unlikely. Yeah. But second of all, it's slow. So what I mean by slow is compared to this. That's much faster. Yeah. When you E, it get it, they have a chance to react. If they're like really feeling like you're gonna appear any second, they can react. And you think, okay, in, in in low elo they won't react. You can still E just fine. But the more important thing is, if you don't have vision, if you if you are not sure if your E will hit, use a uh the. Uh, W flash. Okay. So now, so now here, I need to show you about this part. Okay. So we're going to have one guy here. We're going to have one guy here. We're going to have one guy here. Okay. So now, to again, to reach this guy, we're going to have to E him. But now for this guy, you could actually reach him. It's very simple. You have to go right into here. Do you see this? Into here. Okay. You just walk right into it. And then you uh, alt here. What? I'll show you, I'll show you again. Hold on. Yeah. Does that make sense? Do it, do it again, do it again. I'm aiming into these trees. Oh. Okay. Let's see now, but... What if I want to go for the... Just, just the on, only guy. Just the... The one down the, there? The, the other one. This one? No, the other one. This one? Yeah. Well, yeah, that, that's where... how you do it. Okay. Just this there. is the highest you can get. This is the highest. Okay, look at where I'm aiming. Look at where I'm aiming. Okay? My mouse? Let, let's see if... What if, uh, what if I am even higher? What's gonna happen? You can't go here. Yeah, but what if I am there? You can't. What's gonna happen? What do you mean? 
What's gonna happen if I just R? Oh, what if, if you just... are here? No, what if I just use my ult? What's gonna happen, dude? Well, you can ult him like this. Okay. I'm not- I don't think I'm getting your question, but you can test it out on your own, and then see what happens. Okay. Sure. Uh, anyway, to ult- to like get the perfect ult for this guy, all you have to do is aim, aim between these trees, and then see. Okay. So- so I'll show you again. So I'm getting into this corner, and I'm aiming in between these two. Can I like, get the- get both of them? Like, no, the- all of them. Can I get all of them? Uh, yeah, I guess you could. Let me try. Yeah, I think you can. Let's see. Mm, no. This guy is too far from this guy, I feel like. Let's see. Let's, let's use, uh, Alt Flash W. No, 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 Flash to the, w. Oh, okay. Alt w flash, flash W. Do you mean yeah. Alt W Flash? Yeah, that's what I mean. Sure, let's try it. I don't think I'll, I'll get him, because I don't think the flash will go long enough. Hey, it worked. Good job. But, but to me, it's not that worth it to make sure to fear this guy, because he's too far away. Like, I could basically ignore him, unless he's like a Nautilus or something like that. I Like, if I want to kill this guy, I'm just going to do this. Now I have my flash stuff, you know? Um, okay. The game's gonna close, but, I, okay, but I'm can not you do that done. Again? Can you do that again? Please. Do what? The, the, the team is just now. Very simple. Alt, E. Oh, I missed. Let me get that out. Okay. I'm gonna start it again. Alright. Uh, actually, while we're here, I can show you some runes. Um, there's basically three good ones. Um, uh, where is he? Runes. What? what? How many runes do you have? Yeah, I bought a lot. I, I didn't like having oh. only three. Three was too brutal. Okay. So, for Fiddlesticks, this... there are three good ones. Here's my favorite. The... I'm going to show you first. First Strike. Okay. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah I've seen this one. I've seen this yeah, one, actually. It's very simple. It, it works well. Um, it, it's fine to use. The it's main the reason I actually doesn't... like this is because it gives me three of these. Uh-huh. So, Stopwatch is very useful. Um, you know, you can use it while you're ulting um it, it can it can help you with diving tower you know very useful uh futures market that can help you get items quicker um right yeah i know that but don't forget if you go into that you will be charged 50 gold yeah, yeah, yeah. okay and then Cosmic Insight is the best rune for Fiddlesticks in the whole game. Okay. It reduces his effigy um, cooldown. Okay. Right. And it reduces uh, his summoners. And it reduces the, like, um, Rocket Belt, Zanya's. It reduces those things as well. Actually, I like um, I like electrocute or dark harvest more than. Restrict. Don't don't take dark harvest. Take electrocute instead. Um, yeah, sure, electrocute. Yeah. Okay, if you feel like you want dark harvest, take first strike instead. It's literally just a better version of dark harvest. Okay. Why? Because it gives you gold. It, you still get okay. more damage from first strike as well, don't forget. Okay. Electrocute is good if you want to make sure that one particular champion needs to die. Like, imagine that you're against um, assassins or like, I don't know, 
I, I don't know. It starts in comp, then you feel it's better. So if you do go electrocute first, uh, you can take uh, cheap shot or sudden impact. Both are good. Don't take the middle one. So you can take sudden impact and then eyeball. Don't take the I've other seen, one. I've seen zombie ward actually. I don't recommend that. Because um, it it's not it's not dependable. It's much eyeball is much more dependable. For and now the second best rune for fiddlesticks is this one, ultimate hunter. Okay. And then you can take these. You can also take um. You can also take this hex deck. I'll show you. You ever seen yeah, it, it flashed. Yeah, you have faster flash, but it, it loads. I know what it does. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. Wait, that's actually that's actually quite useful for um. Uh, for your alt, I believe. Hextech? No. The flash. Uh, what do you mean? Like, the one that you need to charge it. That's Hextech, yes. Yeah. So, not really. And I'll show you why. Well, let, let's imagine you're, you're in Raptors, right? Okay. And you want to uh, flash to your that fireplace, right? Like, uh, let's get let's get some vision. Actually, I'll just do it from here. Okay, like here. No, no, no. He's he's in the middle. He's okay, in the he's middle. Like here. Around yeah. Here? Okay. You go to the fireplace and then you hold. Okay. So right. like here. Yeah. Okay. So where does the flash come in? Over the raptors. Wait, so like from here, you flash here, and then you ult? Yeah. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Yeah, sure. You could do that. Or you could also do this. This also works. Like that. But if you want to be really quick, yeah, sure, you could do that. Um. So with... So the thing I really like though, much more than than this, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. So you're not wrong. So like, just walking right behind them, it it works. It actually works. Yeah. So they still don't see you. They do see like, you. They do see you. But why why do they get feared? Because I use Q. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. Um, so your idea is good. You can you can hex tech over here, and then get up here and ult. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. Uh, but but before six, you can definitely also do the same thing. Just walk behind them. It's very simple. Uh, yeah. and then I'll show you like imagine that you're doing red, and then like you can hex tech over to Krugs. That's pretty good. Uh, now let's get back to the ultimate. Now, now I've shown you a couple of good ones, but I haven't shown you the great ones. Okay, so here's a really good one. Okay, you can stand here and you can ult. Okay. Oh. All right. I want you to pay attention that like when you are here, they they don't get vision of you. Yeah. Unless there's a word here. Okay, and then and then you can also be here instead. Right now, you should, right now. But you, if they what? Okay. What if they what? So, if they do have vision, you have to be dependent on your teammate that he has a control word on the river. Why don't you have a control word? Well, I mostly put it in uh, Drake, in Drake Cam. Okay, so you fucked up then. Oh, why? Because you put it in Drake. Why? Okay. Why? Because now you don't have it for here. So again, you fucked up. Right. You, 
You need you need to keep a you need to keep a pink for yourself. Okay. No, okay, but that's not the only thing. You're, you're forgetting about something. Or maybe you didn't know it. Your effigy detects vision. Yeah, I know that. It's like a control word based like combined with a word. Yes. And it is... Yes, okay, so whenever you want to alt beforehand, put an effigy. There's no vision? Okay, I'm good. Right? All right. But what if it does? What if it okay. does? If it does, if you can, remove the ward. But if there's no time, just alt. Because here's the thing. When your effigy first starts, uh, I want you to notice the circle, okay? The circle, okay? When the I... circle is here, the wards inside your effigy are disabled. Oh. So okay. you don't have so to remove it. Thing. You don't have to remove it. Very simply, just put it down and then on. So now the issue is I cannot show you the ward thing because I cannot place enemy wards. So I cannot show it to you exactly. You'll just have to learn it with somebody else who goes into a practice tool with you or learn it through the game. But basically your effigy will disable the ward. Um, but not okay. forever, only for a few seconds. Uh, another good place to ult from is here. You can ult from here. And then here's one that I really like if I'm diving. So, like, if I'm here, I could just stand here and ult him from here. Uh, he could be here even, it's fine, it doesn't matter. Uh, for the Baron, you can ult from here if you wanted to. I want you to notice something. I am not going to be standing at the wall, okay? Like, you know when you want to get a really good alt, you stand right next to the alt, a wall? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay? So now I'm just going to do it from here. You see that? Yeah, but you have less range. That's true, that's true. But now here's an important point. If they don't put any words here, and but they do put words around here, they won't see they you. can't see you exactly. yeah because you're in a bush exactly so if i am too far which i would be most likely yes so i'll, I'll do is just see okay so you just walk all over bastion or well, well if they're doing baron right i i probably have this by now right and i probably also have boots so if if i'm gonna do this it's gonna be more like Okay. Yes. I use this to to help me if I need to. Your rocket belt, you need to use it. But n you don't need to use it all the time. Okay. Um, another good one. I, I really like this one. Very simple. You just alt over here. But now here's a hard one that you need to practice. You can't do it the first time. Maybe you can. You, you can alt from here to here. Okay. Okay. And it works the same way back. It also works here as well. It's rare for you to ever need to do this, but I've had to a couple times, so it's useful to know. Um, and then, yeah, if, you, if anywhere you're not sure if you can alt it correctly, very simple, just go into your practice tool and test it out. Right? That's simple. gonna be so useful. That's gonna be so useful. Like mm -hmm. that one you just showed mm -hmm. me. This is one that I did yesterday. Onto a Nunu. I killed him and I took his blue. It was really nice. Yeah. Um. What else? What else? She had a Silas jungle this time. I I couldn't do shit. Yeah, it can be pretty hard. But the, here's the thing: if Silas steals your ulti. First of all, he won't. He can't fear. He has no fear in his kit. Okay. Yeah, I know. But second of all, when he starts his ultimate in front of your face, what can you do? Think of it. You can just uh, you can Q. You can Q and eat. You can Q, back. sure. Or you can just eat. E is fine. Right, but, but Q silent. is faster. Q is faster. Though. E is longer range. All right. Okay, E is longer range. 
So you just E him, make sure you hit the middle, and his ult for Fiddlestick's ult will get cancelled. It's very simple. Oh! It cancels it, okay. It's a silence, yep, it cancels it. Alright, okay then. Do you know what's Windwall? Sorry? Do you know what's Windwall? Wind wall, yes. like yes, was double. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So here's the thing. Nothing from your kit will stop wind wall. Yeah, I know. I I had a yes on mid. He he used wind wall quite often. I he didn't do shit. Yep, everything goes through your Q, your E, W, everything. Uh, Proto belt it won't go. <laughs> Proto belt won't go. But it's the same thing with Samira W. You know. Uh, same thing with Braum Shield. None of them can block it. None of them can block any of your abilities. Uh, that's that's nice. Mm -hmm, it is. Okay, I'm I'm gonna finish up here. Just one more thing. Just two more things. Items and levels, and then we're done. So for items, this is what you should go. Uh, like. Void stuff. Void stuff and Zonia's no. and uh, it down. No, no, no. So, uh, like, if if the game is like, like, imagine that you do your first clear and then your first base, the first time you're back, this is what I like to buy. If I Arc have... Seal. Huh? Arc Seal? Right, okay. Yeah, Dark Seal and Boots. This is what I like. If you don't okay. like it, it's fine. You can buy, uh, you can buy this if you want. Okay. Or, or if you have enough gold, you can buy this. It's up to you. Uh, test it out, see what you like better. For me, I, I like this one the most. Okay. Okay. And then, like, imagine that you go fighting again, okay? Definitely get sword boots as, when you can. Because now you move faster, so that means when you gank, it's easier. Even if you don't have six. And then you want to start building towards Rocket Belt. Leandri's only when it's the perfect situation, okay? Leandri's when they're um, tanky plus healing. So, for example, like Moon Darius. plus Darius. Soraka. Yeah, Darius, sure. Soraka, but not just Darius, okay? If it's just Darius, it's not that much healing. But like, imagine it's Mundo, Soraka, and then, I don't know, Olaf, okay? Swain, maybe. What? Swain. Sure, right. sure, yeah. And cause now, here's, here's my reason. Because now you get Leonri's, and then you get Morello's for, for this healing tanky situation. And then it's gonna do a lot. These two, like, Morello's does so much better with Leandri's than with Hextech, in my opinion. Anyway, on top of right. that, okay, now this is like for the 5% situation, okay? 95% you want to go into this item. So you just build this, okay? And then now, the second item, it can be situational. Sometimes you want a Zhonya's. Sometimes you want Shadowflame. Oh, I'm gonna play Shadow Flame on. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe sometimes, maybe you want both. No. Or maybe yeah, but... sometimes you you're really really strong, so you want to go Death Cap Void Staff, or or you know, there's combinations that you could can do. Sometimes you right. might not even get an item. Sometimes you might just get Mage Eyes if you have enough stacks, and you're feeling strong. Mm -hmm. Basically, those few items. Don't get Lich Bane, don't get Demonic, don't get Cosmic. You can try them if you want to just see how they feel. But the best items are, are just these that I'm going to show you right now. Uh, okay. Your typical build will look something like this. Like, you will usually have boots instead. It's going to look something like this. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm gonna show you one way to use Zonia's that I really like. Like, imagine that it's like this, okay, and then the enemies here. Just alt. Okay, kill them, and then, like, 
on the last one, uh, whoops. Like, it, it imagine you're taking tower, it cancels the tower shot. Uh, everything. Right. Any questions so far? Before we move yeah. on to levels, okay. So the main power spikes of fiddlesticks is not even items. Like, okay, yeah, items do help a lot, uh, but the main main power spike for fiddlesticks is levels. Okay, you need XP, and I'm gonna show you exactly when are you stronger. Okay, so right now level one is your weakest. You're you're a complete baby, okay. And then like we level up one time. Now now that you have Q, oh, I okay, usually you, start with E. You usually go E second. You're right. You're right. That's correct. But like imagine that like you right like you were doing this and then he came and you got level two. You should take Q. If you're getting invaded. Do what? Do oh okay okay okay. Q him and run away. Because again, we don't want to fight. Your E's not going to help much. Your Q will help much more. Uh, and don't forget something. I'll show you. Uh, hold on. Okay. So remember when I stand still, he gets feared, right? Yeah. Okay, why does he get feared now? Because yeah, he you moved. No, that's not correct. Look, I'm not moving at all. Why is he not getting feared? I don't know. I actually don't know. Okay. Let's try. Maybe there's a bug, right? Let's try other abilities. Uh, where is it? Okay. Okay. Why does he get feared? It because he's in your base, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't matter now. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll stop I'll stop messing around. I'll tell you. You don't have fear on any ability until you upgrade Q. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, l l let's talk about the levels, and then I'll show you exactly when. Okay, okay. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, so. Now you're super weak until level 6, okay? Generally you're super weak. But however, level 3, like imagine that you do these 3 camps, okay? You could like come here and like gank mid really quick and then go back to your clear. But usually you want to like do these as fast as possible, okay? You want to do all your camps as fast as possible right. to get level 6, okay? The schedule doesn't matter. 15, right? What? 315, right? Uh, for level 6? Or do you mean like the first clear? First clear. First clear, 315, yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember. What time does the buff spawn? Sorry? What time does it spawn? 130. Correct. What time does Scuttle spawn? Like... 3. 330. Yeah. Uh, they're not that important, but if they're free, sure, grab them. Okay. So your first spike is level six. The reason being, because you have ultimate, of course. But now the next spike after that is, I believe, level nine. Let's see. Uh, level up. Okay, I'm level nine now. Level nine. Sorry. What's level nine? I'm sorry. It was level eight. Level 8 your W will get maxed out, so it does the most damage now. And then level... What do you think is the next level that is a good spike for Fiddle 6? Can you take a guess? 7? Yeah, what level is the next strongest spike after level 8? Mm, maybe 14. Why 14? Because you, you have like... Two on your alt, and you have another two on your Q, right? So you have. So 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 you're almost close, actually. So first. Is, then. First is level eleven. Yeah, I said that once. You said fourteen. 
Bro, I said 11, then 14. Oh, okay. Okay, so you're correct. Okay, and now, and now here's what you need to realize. Your ultimate does almost double damage at level 11. So, like, Please. if you, you need to pay attention to your XP, like this bar over here is showing you XP. Because, like, if you're level 10, but you're so close to level 11, there it might be better to just get level 11 first and then ult. To do literally double more damage. Or almost. Okay. And, and then level 13 is actually the Q max. Okay. So yeah. the reason that the Q max is important. Because the fear gets a uh, longer duration. But now here's the important part. So if I fear this guy now. Okay. Did you see that? Did you see no. that the whole time that I'm using W, he's feared? Yeah, that I seen. I seen that. Yep, he's feared the whole time. But now, if we reset the game, okay. But it, but while he's uh, like, while he's feared. Yeah. He he's gonna back away, right? How can he back away when he's feared? Like, or, or do you mean the automatic movement? Yeah, the automatic movement. It's fine. He's still going to be in range. Usually, if you can fear them, you can also W. Usually. Yeah, but like usually when I, when I it, fear them. Him moving, him moving very little away isn't a big problem. What is a big problem is this. Yeah, that that's what I'm doing. Yeah. What? That that's exactly what I'm doing. And then he gets away from my W. Range. No, 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 no. You're not realizing what I'm saying. I'm saying that your level one fear is one second shorter. And that's the that's what that's the issue. When you fear like this, look, it goes away, and now he can get away by like flashing or whatever. But if you've leveled up all the way to level 13, like this, okay, now my fear will be the whole time I W is there. Right. Before it was only ha like after one second he could leave. Okay. Now, now I get what you were saying that like if you fear them that they'll move away, right? But all you have to do make sure, okay, like if you fear this guy, okay, like just walk a bit closer and then you can W. Or sometimes you don't you don't even have to use your W, you can just like Q him, right? Uh like you Q him, he keep autoing. You can keep walking and keep autoing. If he's like getting low enough. You know? You have to you have to read the situation and what is happening. Now I'm gonna show you one clip from my replay and then we can do any questions you have, and then we'll we'll stop it. Okay, Manchester. I think it was here. No. Mm. Was it here? Shit. I'm not even sure what I wanted to show you anymore. I'm trying to think. Uh, it's fine. Any questions? <laughs> all right. No, no, that that's that's all right. I understand. Okay, cool, cool. Um, make sure that if you want to get good at fiddle, you have to practice these things. It doesn't come to you in one day. It takes a bit of practice. Um, right. there's a rule that I've heard that like, if you want to start becoming okay at a champion, it takes about 80 games. 80? Yeah. Five, five or six is nothing. It's literally nothing. I don't know, man. I, 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 when I started with Trundle, yeah. it took me like well, seven well, of games. Course, and... like, there are champions who are easier. Trundle was like way, way easier than Fiddle. Well, is no skill, is shit champion. Um, 
Sure, I don't know about that, but what... like, you just it's like a like a pocket e, honestly. Yeah, but can you win with them though? That's where like understanding how can to jump what? Things, right? The, um, but with fiddlesticks, number one thing to remember is vision. You have very important. Um, you need to like make sure that like after some time, not from level one, but like after level seven or level six, you're you're carrying control wards, stuff like that. Um, don't blame your teammates. Pay attention to what you could have done. It's very very easy to blame other people in this game, but a hundred percent, there's a lot of things you're doing wrong. It I. Even even I sometimes blame teammates, and then I go to the review, I look at the replay, I'm like, shit, no, I could have done something better. Um, anyways, uh, I can let you go here. Um, thanks a lot for listening. Yeah, I I know it's it. I I have to thank you for teaching me. I appreciate it, man. Good good luck with it. Oh, and if you have any questions later, message me anytime. All right. All right. Appreciate see ya, it. See ya.